In this lecture, we will perform multiple operations on discrete time signals. And the first signal we are having is X1N. X1N is equal to 246810 and 6 is the value of the signal when N is equal to 0. And therefore, we have this arrow below 6. And we are required to find a new discrete time signal which is Y1N and you can see that y1n is equal to x1 2n divided by 3. So it is clear that we are getting a new signal y1n after performing multiple operations on signal x1n. So let's try to find out signal y1n. I will first write down the discrete time signal x1n. It is equal to 2 4, 6, 8 and 10 and 6 is the value of the signal when n is equal to 0. And now we have two options. Either we can find out signal x1 2n or we can find out signal x1 n by 3. I will first find out signal x1 2n. This means we are going to perform the time scaling and that also the time compression. We are having the case of time compression because here we have 2. This means a is equal to 2 and this implies mod of a is greater than 1 and this implies we have the case of time compression. And we already know what will happen in case of time compression. We have a equal to 2 this means all the values of x1n which are present at the intervals which are integer multiple of 2 will be selected. We know 6 is the value of x1n when n is equal to 0. This makes 8 as the value of x1n when n is equal to 1. Similarly 10 will be the value when n is equal to 2. 4 will be the value when n is equal to minus 1 and 2 here will be the value when n is equal to minus 2. Now we need to focus on the values of n which are integer multiple of 2. This will give us n equal to minus 2, n equal to 0 and n equal to 2. n equal to minus 1 is not an integer multiple of 2, n equal to 1 is also not an integer multiple of 2. So we will take 2, 6 and 10. So signal, signal x1 2n will be equal to 2, 6 and 10 and 6 will be the value of signal x2n when n is equal to 0. So in this way we have x1 2n and now we will calculate x1 2n divided by 3. So I will write x1 2n divided by 3. So here we are performing the operation on the independent variable which is n and we always need to focus on this point that all the time operations which we perform should be performed with respect to the independent variable. So here we are performing the time scaling and the time scaling is of the type time expansion. We can say that we are having the case of time expansion because we are multiplying n by 1 by 3 and a equal to 1 by 3 gives us mod a less than 1. Therefore, this is the case of time expansion and we know what we need to do in the case of time expansion. You can see that here we have 3. So we will take 3 and then we will subtract 1 this will give us 2 this means two zeros we need to insert between each digit we have here so we will get the answer directly we will get x1 to n by 3 equal to 2 then we will insert two zeros then we will write 6 again we will insert two zeros and then we will write 10 and 6 will be the value at n equal to 0 so in this way we have obtained x1 2n divided by 3 and x1 2n divided by 3 is nothing but y1n. So we have our discrete time signal y1n and this is the answer. 
now we will move on to the next problem in which we have a new discrete time signal x to n and this signal is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 3 is the value of the signal when n is equal to 0 now we will try to perform the calculations quickly because we now understand the basics we need to find signal y to n signal y to n is equal to x2 minus 2n now we have two options either we can first perform the time reversal operation and have signal x2 minus n or we can perform time scaling operation and have signal x2 to n like we have done here now as we have already calculated x2 twice of n in this case i will perform the time reversal first so let's find out signal x2 minus n and we know what we need to do in case of time reversal we simply need to flip the values about this arrow so 3 will be at the same position but 4 will now come to position of 2 and 2 will now go to position of 4 similarly 5 will go to position of 1 and 1 will go to position of 5 so we will have a new signal which is 5 then we have 4 then we have 3 which will be the value of signal at n equal to 0 after this we will have 2 and then finally we have 1 now let's perform the time scaling which is the case of time compression and have our signal x2 minus 2n here we are performing the time scaling with respect to n and we will have this signal 5 3 1 we have simply neglected 2 and 4 because 2 is present at n equal to 1 and 4 is present at n equal to minus 1 but we need to select the values of signal x2 minus n for which n is the integer multiple of 2 we are having 2 here that's why we will select the values of x2 minus n for which n is equal to the integer multiple of 2 like we have done in this case so this is what we have and 3 is the value at n equal to 0 so we are getting our signal y to n y to n equal to 5 3 1 this is the answer now we will move on to the homework problem there is one homework problem for you in this homework problem there is one signal xn the discrete time signal and it is equal to 1 3 5 7 and 9 and 3 is the value of signal xn when n is equal to 0 and you are required to find another discrete time signal yn which is equal to x 3n divided by 2 so here you can see that after performing multiple operations on xn we are getting a new signal yn and you need to tell me what is signal yn